What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today Apple released iOS 17.1 Beta 2 just one week after the release of Beta 1. And along with this iOS release, we also got the second beta for iPadOS 17.1, WatchOS 10.1, macOS Sonoma 14.1, tvOS 17.1, HomePod version 17.1, and Vision OS Beta 4. So taking a look at the size of this update, it came in at 6.5 gigabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which was coming from 17.0.2. So if you were on 17.1 Beta 1, this update would be around 1 gigabyte. But that's the size if you were not already on the beta. So, so let's check out this new build number. The new build number is 21B5056E. So we do still have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates we still have quite a few betas to go before the final release. And down here, we can see that our new modem firmware is 1.12. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.1 beta 2? And the first thing is a resolution for one of the biggest issues that people had with beta 1. And that is if we go into our settings and then to sounds and haptics and then into ringtones, your custom ringtones are now back in beta 2. So in beta 1, these were removed. But now with beta 2, your custom ringtones are back. And this applies to ringtones and for text tones. So if you go into text tones, you can see down here at the bottom, we do have our custom ringtones back again. So this basically confirms once again that that first version of 17.1 beta one was just an older build. It was, you know, put together. It was compiled before iOS 17 released to the public. We also have some nice changes to the standby mode. So if you go into standby, you will see first off right away, we have a change here. So before all we had was an option to turn always on display on or off that was it we just had a kill switch there and then we had night mode below that where we can go in and turn on or off night mode and motion to wake well now that is more simplified in ios 17.1 beta 2 because now we have a display section and when we go into there you will see that this is where those night mode toggles live and then also up here we no longer just have a kill switch to turn always on display on or off we can now turn the display off automatically after 20 seconds or never and if you're wondering what the automatically toggle does it just says that the display will intelligently turn off when iphone is not in use and the room is dark so it looks like basically when you're going to sleep that's when you would want automatically to be on that way your display turns off now also in 17.1 we no longer have a double dynamic island so when you swipe down to invoke reachability you will notice that we now have a black screen instead of a you know blurred version of the dominant color of the wallpaper that we had applied and you can see that that leads to no secondary dynamic island being up at the top here now there's also a big change in ios 17.1 that is something i've been wanting for a long time so if you go to plus right here on the add new wallpaper papers and then go to photo shuffle you can see that you now have the option to choose an album that you want those photos to shuffle through so you can now choose like your favorites or if you have an album for wallpapers it will now only shuffle through that specific album and of course you can change that shuffle frequency to daily on tap on lock or hourly so before you had to use a series shortcuts for this to work and I showed how to do that in a previous video but now it works natively by being able to choose a specific album for photo shuffle and then also in beta one we saw some changes in the music application mainly related around favoriting artists and songs and things like that and basically once you favorite them they go into your library so they will show up here in your library and that's working just fine however if we go into playlists and then go to the new filter button up in the top right and then filter by favorited you can see that it's still not working it still does not show our favorited songs and artists and albums right here and then i do also want to say one thing i missed in the beta one video is that you can actually now edit your playlist artwork so if you go to edit right here you can see some different kind of ai generated album covers for your playlist so that's cool you could also upload your own so if you press right there you can choose from your own music so that's pretty neat and then for those wondering about the journal app that is not here in ios 17.1 beta 2 and i think that is more likely to come in ios 17.2 instead of 17.1 and then also the charging to 80 percent is not here on older devices so that is if you go into your battery battery health and charging charging optimization for the iphone 15s we have an 80 percent limit that we can set to charge our battery only to 80 percent but i checked on my 14 pro max and that is not available with this beta so it seems like like this is going to continue staying an iPhone 15 exclusive feature. However, for the Apple Watch, we do now have double tap 
active. So the new gesture for the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is now available to test out and use in beta two and this is different from the accessibility feature because you know devs are able to build around it it's much more accurate it doesn't drain battery and it just works natively with the watches using that new s9 chip so this is not the same as the accessibility feature it is similar but there are a lot of advantages to having this feature and now you can test it out with watch os 10.1 beta 2. and then if we take a look at the release notes for beta 2 you'll see that we do have a few resolved issues related to remote widgets the sk ad network store kit and then we do have a few known issues here for wallet and Apple Pay, and also one down there for widget kit, but not a lot going on here with the release notes. And then as far as performance goes, so far performance feels great. I mean, it feels pretty much just like beta one, which didn't really feel much different from 17.0. So we'll see what this Geekbench score reads, but I'm not expecting any type of major improvement over 17.0 just yet. So we scored a 2828 on the single core and a 6986 on the multi core. So this is actually the first Geekbench test I've run on my new 15 Pro Max. So I will keep these scores in mind and compare them to future scores. And then as far as the battery life goes for iOS 17.1 beta two, I would not really expect any difference from beta one or really 17.0 in general. So I would not expect any change there. If we do see any type of improvement, it's going to be very minor. I would expect the bigger improvements to battery life to come with the 17.2s through 17.4. Somewhere in that area is usually when we start to see bigger improvements to battery life. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So right now we are on a one week release schedule. So usually with these 0.1 updates, Apple sticks to a weekly release schedule all the way until the official version is released. So with that in mind, I would expect to see iOS 17.1 beta three next week on the week of October 9th, most likely right there on October 10th. Apple usually likes to stick to those Tuesday releases, so I would expect that next week. However, we could see an update before that because we are most likely going to be seeing an iOS 17.0.3 to address the iPhone 15 overheating issues. So we really could see that as soon as any day this week, but we could also see it potentially next Monday on the 9th. So I would expect to see that before the next iOS 17.1 beta, and especially before the 17.1 final release, which we are expecting in October, most likely the last week of October. If I had to guess a specific date for iOS 17.1, it would either be the 23rd or the 30th. And then just like usual, Apple will start pushing out those 17.2 betas shortly after. But anyway, guys, that is iOS 17.1 beta 2. Clearly not as much going on as beta 1, but hopefully we do see more changes the more these betas go on. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 17 coverage just like this. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.